What's up guys, Tony Hannity's here from Lazy Tech TV and today we're gonna take a look at the Robin by Nextbit. We looked at some preliminaries of the Robin back in September and if you haven't seen our Nextbit Robin explain video, go ahead and click on the uh, question mark or the exclamation point in the upper left hand corner of the video here and you'll get to it. And that'll describe a little bit more about what Robin does versus other Android phones that are out there. The Robin by Nextbit isn't actually out even for Kickstarter backers until the 18th of February. Well, it's the 12th of February right now. So all you guys are getting a sneak peek. So let's let's all together open up this very, very large, long packaging. I mean, it's almost like a box of chocolates almost. I've never received a box of chocolates myself, but definitely bought a few. So on the back side here, it says contents, Robin, lithium ion battery built in. Uh, USB data cable and SIM pin. So this is the GSM LTE version. Work here in the United States on AT&T and T-Mobile. And so this comes in the mint color, which of the other option that's available, I really do like the mint color. So we've got their little cloud logo right here. If you can kind of see it. I don't know if you can in this video. Here we go. Ooh, wow. Oh, wait, hold on. It's like a book. Okay, let's... Hey, Rebel. Meet Robin. Robin never runs out of space. How? So it basically talks about how Robin works, and which I kind of go in-depth in the whole Next Bit Robin Explained video, but here we are. So the charger cable for the wall is sold separately. Um, and it is a USB-C charger, so just be forewarned about that. But you can buy that separately from them, and they did send that to us for the review purpose. So as they mentioned in the outside of the box, you've got the phone, you've got the pin SIM, the, the SIM pin, yep, said that right, and uh, the data cable, or data cable, and uh, it is full-on USB Type-C. As you can see here, I've yet to open it, and I'm really, really excited to. But I, I do want to point this out here. Their packaging is, is a lark. It, it's, it's actually pretty hilarious. This is a speaker, obviously. This is a speaker, too, but not a home button. This is your home button, and it's also a fingerprint reader. And that, that's what it says here, too. See? Press and hold the power key. It's the fingerprint sensor, too. So they, they definitely had a lot of fun with their packaging. And then it looked like the back side opened as well, too. Let me just close that temporarily. Yeah. Next now. Be heard. Okay. Hear me roar. All right. So let's just unpackage this guy here. And would you guys like to hear the sound of the next bit Robin turning on for the first time? I would too. We are going to leave that. Okay, well fine. We'll go ahead and turn it on and let you guys hear it. I, I mean, I don't know if it does anything special. Ooh. Next bit. Now, like I mentioned, I did get a chance to uh, play around with this just for a little bit back in September. And I've got to say, I mean, it feels just as much as I remember it back then. It is super lightweight. Um, it's, it's very um, slippery. So I, I will say that the edges are not like jagged, but they're very pronounced. So there's no grip along the edge, so it could slip out of hand. But yeah, I mean, I think what really st stands out is just the design of this phone. I mean, you think of a candy bar, this looks like candy for fir uh, first off, just the color scheme of it. Um, I think it's a, a fascinating uh, design. It's very, very unique, dual speaker. I mean, I've told people this time and time again. You need dual speaker right from the front. That's the best way to have speakers on phones. And it's very well weighted. It's not top heavy. 
Yeah, so definitely we're gonna get a lot more intricate and a lot more in-depth with the foam for the actual review, but yeah, very, very excited for this guy. Thank you again to Nextbit for sending this out to us and giving us the opportunity to take a look at your very, very unique cloud OS slash Android operating system integration that you have going on. And uh, I'm really, really excited to see if this is something that works in everyday life or if it's very good just in pragmatic sense. So, And so like I was saying, thanks a lot for watching. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and tell your friends, and we will talk to you guys in the next one. Late.